Alright, this next item was free. Like, <gasps> I didn't damage it. So now, do I think that it was worth it or was it not? Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some cheap and free Harry Potter items that I purchased from Wish. So let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> so recently I made quite a large purchase from Wish with all Harry Potter items. I tried to look for all free or cheap Harry Potter items and I just bought all the ones that I could find. I ended up getting 22 items total. I spent a total, I have my phone here to show me so I can remember. <laughs> all right, so I spent a total of $109.88. So items totaled out to be $68.76, but the shipping came to a grand total of $48. That's where they get you with those free items. They're never completely free. You always have to pay at least shipping. So make sure you're looking out for that if you are purchasing anything from Wish. So the item totals were $68.76. The shipping was $48. And I had a promo code saving me $6.88. So that gave me a grand total of $109.88. So one thing to note from Wish, if you've never bought from there before, it does take quite a long time to get to you. I know I see that a lot in the reviews. It will say like it's going to be coming in maybe one or two weeks and it usually takes a couple more weeks after that. So for me, I placed my order on April 5th and today is May 8th. So it took just a little over a month to get back to me and I think I have all the items here. They did ship separately. I started getting them and trinkling in kind of week by week. I got one item and then I got another bag and then I got another bag. So I don't even know if I have everything. I did check my order history on the Wish app and it says everything got delivered except for one item. But that one item, let me see if I can pull that up here. Arriving by April 29th and like I just said, it is May 8th. So I don't know if it's already here or if it's gonna be late. So I didn't wanna wait for that item, maybe it's lost. But let's see, I'll start opening everything up. We'll tally everything at the end. I should have a total of 22 items. If I don't, then the item is missing, but that's okay. I did wanna get this video filmed for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So these are all the bags that my Wish items are in. So let's go ahead and open some of them up. I'll start with this small bag here. So let's go ahead and get this one opened up. So this bag has three items in it. It looks like they're all gonna be individually packaged, so I'm gonna just take everything out of these big bags and see how much we have. So this is the next one. So this is the next one. There's a lot in this one. And this one was already in its own box, so we'll set these two boxes to the side. And I'm sure you could guess what's in these boxes, but we're going to open these two last, and I will open up these smaller items first. So let's get started with one of these. I just counted all of the items that I have and I only have 19 items. And like I said before, I should have had a total of 22. So it does look like there are some items missing, but we'll just get there when we get there and I'll go over the items that I think are missing. Maybe there's a couple items in each baggie, so we'll find out at the end. All right, so let's start with this little bag. Let's see what's in here. Since I ordered everything about a month ago, I kind of forgot what I ordered. This is gonna be almost like a mystery for me. All right, oh, okay. This literally smells so bad, like chemicals. That like hit me in the face, Ugh, so stinky. Okay, so there's just one item in here and it is some socks. So here are some little crew socks and what makes these so magical is the message on the bottom here. So this one says, Master has given Dobby a sock. And then this one says Dobby is free. So if you are sitting up on a couch or a bed or something and you have your feet propped up, then you can read the message on the bottom of your socks. I thought that these were so much fun. Let me see how much these cost. All right, so for these Master Has Given Dobby socks, they cost $2.33 and the shipping was $1. So they came to $3.33 for just one pair of socks. So the funny thing about Wish is sometimes they'll have images on their website that are not going to be the same exact item that you receive and that's kind of the case with these. I did order socks with the messages on the bottom but I got the ones that were supposed to be the no-show socks 
So it's kind of funny that I got set these crew ones. If you keep swiping, you do see some crew ones, so I can see how that can be confusing. But I will definitely get pop that on the screen so you can see what it was supposed to be. But one thing that's like really weird is the smell of these. They literally smell like chemicals. So I'll definitely have to wash these before I ever wear them. But $3 for socks, not a bad deal. They're not that bad of quality. They just feel like normal cotton socks. So, and they have these really cute messages on the bottom. And it's nice because they are like stitched in. It's not like it's a sticker or anything. So the message isn't gonna come off. They will definitely stay in place. And then on the top here, it has these two black stripes and the color of these socks are gray. So not bad for a pair of socks. Next, we'll open this small one. It has definitely something really tiny inside. It's so tiny. Oh, this is cool. So it is a jewelry item. Let me get it out of this little noisy packaging. Cool. Okay. This is the Holcrux ring. So let me show you closer up. So this has the resurrection stone inside. It doesn't have like the Deathly Hollows emblem, like the replica version from Noble Collection, but this was a very inexpensive item. And I think that the little details on it are pretty cute. You could definitely wear this one as well if you wanted to, or if it fits. It doesn't fit me, I don't think. I think it's gonna be a little too big. So like my right hand fingers are usually bigger than your left hand, because it's my dominant hand, and it's still pretty loose on me. So if you can see that here, it is pretty loose on my hand. I'm not sure what size it is, or if you could pick the size that you wanted, but like this hand, I think this finger usually is like a size seven, so it's definitely bigger than a size seven. It might work for some of you guys, it might not, or it's just kind of cute to display it. Like if you collect items and put them on a Harry Potter shelf or something, this would be a cute little item to add on there as a little trinket. So I think that'd be cute. If you have a Niffler, this would be cute to put, a, put with the Niffler to look like it stole the Holcrux ring. So I think that this is kind of nice for the price. It was very cheap. Let me see what the exact price was. So this ring was $1.55 and the shipping was $1. So for a grand total of $2.55, I think that this was a great deal. It is pretty cute and you can still tell what it's supposed to represent. So I think that this one is a pretty good purchase for what it is and the cost. So I definitely like this one. But like I said with the last item, the image that Wish uses is like the box from Noble Collection. So if you were thinking you were going to get that exact ring, then you would be definitely disappointed because it is not gonna be in that really pretty triangle box definitely put that on the screen here so you can see what I'm talking about. But if you keep swiping, you'll see the ring that you're actually purchasing. There are two rings that are shown here. There's one that has like a almost golden gem inside and then there's the one that's all black. So I got the all black one. And opening up the next one. Oh, so this one is a patch. So it is a Gryffindor patch. It is not the best patch in my opinion. I have one from the Wizarding World that is Definitely way better quality, but it is a iron-on patch, which is nice. And you can still tell what it's supposed to be. It is a Gryffindor patch. It just, the image inside is just not the best, but it does its job. If you're looking for something pretty inexpensive for like cosplay or dressing up for Halloween or something like that, this would definitely work for that. It's not like it's falling apart or anything. I'm just not a fan of the actual art or image inside of it but let's see how much this one cost. So this patch retails for $3.80 and the shipping was $1, so a grand total of $4.80. So really not bad for the price that you're getting and it does come in all four of the houses so you can pick which house you want to receive. All right, so I just jumped onto Universal's website where you can actually purchase some of the merchandise that they sell in the parks. So if we're comparing prices, the patch that they sold on Wish, like I just said, cost me $4.80. But if you were to purchase the one from Universal Studios Orlando, you can even purchase this one online. You don't have to actually go into the parks. They only retail for $8 and they are a much better quality. So I would actually go that route versus buying the one off of Wish. But if you wanna save yourself a couple dollars and you're only using it for like a day or something, then get the one from Wish. But now you know what the differences are. All right, now to the next item. <laughs> oh, it's in a package, in a package. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. There are some earrings. Okay, so let's take it out of another packaging that it's in. 
Next item is one that I actually got for free. <laughs> and I say free because you still have to pay shipping, but it is on their website and it says free and the shipping was $4. So I got these for a grand total of $4. They are some earrings. So they're Harry Potter's glasses and a lightning bolt earrings. They're in the color gold and these ones were free or $4 because I paid $4 shipping, but not bad. I think that they came out pretty nice. They look just like they do on the website and they came with two backings for the earrings plus one additional backing. So just in case you lose one of these, they do give you a little backup for your earrings because I know myself, I definitely lose the back of my earrings all the time. I'm always going to another pair and stealing them because I don't know how I lose them all the time, but I don't lose my actual earring. But <laughs> anyways, these are Harry's glasses. All right, next, this one's kind of big. Let's see what's in here. The next one is going to be a tie. So I got a Gryffindor tie. Ooh, it's pretty long. So I got the packaging off of it. And I am actually pretty impressed with this tie. I think that the quality is pretty nice. Here is a close up of what the material looks like. And this is actually pretty nice. So here's the back. It has that little place that you can tuck the tail of the tie into. And here is where it folds. So the stitching is pretty decent as well. And this house tie retails for $4.75 and there was $2 shipping, so a grand total of $6.75. I think that it is pretty nice for the price as well, so if you are looking for a inexpensive house tie, definitely check out Wish. They have them in each house as well, so you can get Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, or Gryffindor in your house colors, so I am actually pretty impressed with this tie, and I like that it's in that like slim fit as well, so it's not big and bulky, and you can use, use it for some like cosplay or any dressing up or anything like that. This is a very cute tie. Next item! All right, this next item was free as well, and it is a prefect badge or pin. Here is the backing to the enamel pin and I do like the quality of this item. So this one was free but the shipping was $3 so it was $3 for this pin which I think is pretty good for what it is and it looks just like it does on the website so I think that that is nice so this is a good find as well. All right next what's in oh we got two items okay so there are two items in this package. So I was saying I think 19, so now we have 20, so we're still missing two items. But let's go ahead and see what's in this one. So this first one here is a necklace. It is a platform nine and three quarters necklace. And here is where you can attach it. So it has little options where you can adjust it. But this is the charm for the necklace. And if you don't wanna wear it as a necklace, I was thinking about repurposing this and using it as a ornament for my Christmas tree or you could add it to a keychain and use it that way as well. And this necklace was free with a $4 shipping so if this was a $4 item and I think the quality is really nice. Like the actual enamel of the item is really nice. I think it's very good quality for what it is so I'm happy with this item. The next one is a keychain and it is of the sorting hat. Here is the actual keychain part where you attach it. And here are the details of the sorting hat. So this one isn't very detailed, it's very simple. You definitely can tell what it's supposed to be, but I don't love how the face looks. But for the price, this isn't that bad of an item. This one was on their website for $1.79 and $1 shipping. So for just $2.79, this is still a pretty good item. Next! This next item, I wasn't sure that I bought this as a necklace, but maybe I did. It won't let me open it up on their app. It just keeps saying that they can't find the webpage, so maybe it's not for sale anymore. This is Ravenclaw's Lost Diadem in a necklace, and there is this little dangly charm at the bottom. This necklace piece itself I think is pretty cute. The reason why I'm confused is I thought I was getting like the replica version of the diadem like the actual tiara that you could like place on your head they have one for noble collections that i really want so maybe one day i will make that purchase 
but this is in a necklace version, which is fine, but I just thought I was getting something else. Just how they have the images on their website can be confusing. This one retailed for $5.61 with $1 shipping, so for a total of $6.61. I personally wouldn't purchase this for that much money because it's just not the best quality in the world. If this was closer to like two or three dollars, maybe it would be worth it. But I know personally I won't wear this, but I do think that this would look really cute on a Harry Potter Christmas tree. So I'll probably repurpose it for that. Next. All right, next we have another necklace. This is the Slytherin Locket. So this is supposed to be the replica for that. This is the back side can't really make out what the image is supposed to be or if that's just glue. So it's definitely very easy to open and close. And the Slytherin Locket retails for $5.87 with $2 shipping. So for a grand total of $7.87. I think it's not terrible. It's definitely not the same replica from like the films or Noble Collection, but it did look like this on Wish's website. So I did know what I was getting into like the snake itself inside is not the best because the other one is, I think is made out of gemstones and this one is it's just the snake outline there but it does look exactly like it does on the website so it's not misleading or anything like that but still for seven dollars and 87 cents not too bad not too great either <laughs> i just realized i got so many necklaces <laughs> This next item is also a necklace. This was a free necklace. It is just of the Deathly Hollows in a silver color. I think they might have had both colors available. And since this one was free, you just paid shipping and the shipping was $4. So the total for this item was $4. And it's just a small little silver chain, very simple. And you could also repurpose this necklace as well for a keychain or a ornament for Christmas. So you have those options as well. Next. Oh, we had another enamel pin. This one is so cute. It is of Picket the Bow Truckle. And this one was a free item. You just had to pay shipping and the shipping for this item was $4. So $4 for this pin, I think is a pretty good deal. I think it's so adorable. I'm actually really happy with this one. All right, next we have a keychain. It is of the Chocolate Frog. Super adorable. There's something on its nose. Okay, so that came off. And this one looks pretty similar to the Christmas ornament. I think they even have a keychain version of this at the Wizarding World in Universal Studios in Orlando. So that is the back and the front, and here is the gold keychain. The only thing is that this one showed on the website that it came with the Chocolate Frog box. So that's kind of disappointing. I thought it was going to come with both, but I do think that the quality of this is pretty nice. This one retailed for $4.48 with a dollar shipping. So a grand total of $5.48. And I think it is so cute. Look how adorable. It is actually pretty adorable. I do like it. It would just make it that much better if it had the chocolate frog box as well. But I'm sure if you kept swiping on the images, it probably showed me that it just came with just the chocolate frog. So you really have to pay attention when you're purchasing things off of Wish because sometimes they do show you what it's supposed to look like, but it's just misleading because the main picture will be something else. All right, next we have a lanyard and it's just this simple black lanyard with a bunch of different Harry Potter icons on there. So there's nine and three quarters. There's a weird version of the Deathly Hollows, the HP for Harry Potter, some owls, a flying key, a golden snitch, you know, things like that. And here's what the bottom looks like. So if you wanna attach anything to this lanyard, it has two options. So it has this one here, and then it has this little clasp. And this lanyard was pretty cheap, only $1.82 with $1 shipping. So not bad for a lanyard, because I know lanyards at the Wizarding World can retail for about $10, I believe. So for just $2.82, you could get this one. All right, next. Oh, oh, I hope I didn't just cut whatever it is. I feel like, oh, I hope I didn't damage it. These ones are so cute. These are Harry Potter's glasses. So here's a close up of what they look like. Super adorable. So let me go ahead and put them on for you guys. They definitely show like reflections, but yeah, if I kind of sit like this, you can see what they look like. I think these are so cute. I wish they weren't reflective because then I could wear them. 
the rest of this video, but they're just clear lenses. But if they didn't do all these reflections, you can see the window and maybe my camera <laughs> through them. But I think they're so cute. These would be nice to cosplay in if you want to play Harry or to take some cute little pictures with some Harry Potter inspired outfits. I think these are so cute. These retailed for $4.73 with $1 shipping. So a grand total of $5.73. And I think that they are totally worth it. I think they're so adorable. They have metal frames. They have the little piece here to make sure it's comfortable on your nose and it sits just right on your head. I think they're so adorable. I think they're great. I would definitely recommend these. But just to mention for the price, they probably will break. They don't feel like the best quality of items, but for what they are, I do like these. Next item, something small is in here. Oh, it's another pin. So adorable, it's so little. So this pin, here's a close-up of it. It says, Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> and it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> but that is going to be the little pin. Here is the clasp in the back here. And I just want to apologize. I don't have my nails done. They have no polish on them right now. Definitely need to paint them. I paint my nails myself, but just wanted to throw that out there because I just noticed during these close-ups, you're gonna see my bare nails. <laughs> so bear with me until I can get them painted again, right? <laughs> Small Wingardium Leviosa pin retails for $4.80 with $1 shipping. So this one was $5.80. Kind of expensive for how small it is, but enamel pens usually go for like an average of 10 to $15. So it's still below that price. So it's really not bad. I think it's a pretty good quality. You can still read exactly what it says on here. And it's just a really cute little feather, very simple. And I think it's adorable. All right, so I only have four more items left. If you made it this far into the video, leave an emoji of an owl in my comment section below. That way I know that you made it this far into the video. <laughs> Let's go ahead into these other items. All right, so we have this one and this one. Let's open the smaller one first and then we'll open up the bigger one. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Oh, is there two items? Yes, we have two items in here. So I think I said I had 19 items and we had two in one. So then I had 20 items. So now I have 21 items so far. So maybe there's a couple other things in these items left. So let's open up one of these first. All right, these next two items are necklaces. So the first one here is of a Hufflepuff scarf. So cute. So I got the Hufflepuff one just because it was the cheapest option. They did have all four of the houses. I am in the Gryffindor house, but I do like to represent all the houses. I think that they're all so unique and I love them all in their own ways. So this one is Hufflepuff. This one retailed for $1.93 with $1 shipping. So a grand total of $2.93. So about three bucks for this necklace. I think that's a fair price for this item. I don't think it's a bad quality. The chain is not the best quality, but the actual item itself is really not that bad for the price. So that's going to be the house tie in a necklace. All right, the next necklace is going to be of the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, whichever version of the book that you read. But this one is on this really cute gold chain. So I think that this is so adorable. This one was a free item and the shipping was $4. So $4 for this necklace. I think it's actually pretty adorable. It's not the best quality. This is like a very cheap plastic. It's very lightweight and the chain is not the best quality either. But for $4, I think it's pretty fair and it is so cute. Definitely can get a couple uses out of it. You could always repurpose it as a keychain or a Christmas ornament as well. And I think that it's pretty cute. Like I probably would wear this for like a picture or something. I kind of want to put it on right now. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So we don't have any necklaces on today. I just have like some gold hoops. <laughs> and this is what it looks like on. This is where it lays on me. I think it's a good length as well. So cute. So I'll wear this for the remainder of the video. But let's go ahead into the next item. So we've got this big bag here. Let's see what's in it. Oh, I know what this is. All right, this next item is probably the one of the more expensive items that I purchased. This one was $8 with a $3 shipping, so a grand total of $11. And it is of the Marauder's Map. So this is what the front of it looks like. I think it's so cute. It's very tiny. And the back has the Harry Potter logo. And let's open it up together and see what's inside. So we have all the details that are supposed to be in the Marauder's Map. 
and the center. So it just has this little like pop out center here. You can't really do a whole lot with it, but that is what the map looks like. So this is just a little paper replica of their Marauders map. So for the grand total price, $11. Do I think it's worth $11? Not exactly. They do have a replica version from Noble Collection, and I know it's a lot bigger than this. I've seen it in person at the Wizarding World in Universal, but if you're just looking for an inexpensive replica, this definitely does the job. You can definitely tell what it's supposed to be. I think it's very cute. I don't think the print is too bad, and I like that it goes on the back as well, so it kind of has that like aged, speckled look to it. So not bad, but $11, you kind of be the judge of that. Do you think that it's worth it? Do you not think that it's worth it? But I'm not really mad about it. I think it'll look cute, like if I ever want to take any pictures or just put it on this shelf there, you'll definitely get what it is. All right, so we're on to the next items. It's gonna be these two big boxes. So in these boxes, there are wands, or they're supposed to be wands, that's what I purchased. But what I do forget is whose wands I purchased. So let's see which wands I have inside here. All right, so I have both of the wands out of their boxes. They're just in these bags here. So let's talk about this first one. So here is wand number one. If you can guess whose wand this is, leave it in the comment section below. And here are the rest of the details. So very simple at that side, but the base of the wand has a lot of nice detailing and it has a pretty good weight. I think it's a good length, but I do feel like it's a little thicker than most of the ones that I've seen. I have my Luna Lovegood one that I've got at the Wizarding World at Universal. I have that right here, so let's compare the two. It's pretty much the same length of the ones that they have at the Wizarding World. I would say that it's actually just a little bit longer. So this is them sitting flat on my desk here. So you can see that the wand from Wish comes up a little higher than the wand that I got at the Wizarding World. And this is Snape's wand, or it's supposed to be a replica of Snape's wand. And this one retailed for $5.70 with $3 shipping, so a grand total of $8.73. Not too bad for a wand because these wands at the Wizarding World can retail for around $50. So if you want to save some money or if you have some children that just want to have some wands to play with, these are kind of the wands that you want to go with. Or even if you are just reenacting with them, I would definitely go this route instead of risking ruining one of these ones that are going to be better for just like display purposes and things like that. But you can be the judge. It's your wand, whatever you want to do with it but that's just one of my recommendations. So this is Snape's wand. All right, this next one is super interesting. So can you guess whose wand this is? This is someone's wand that I don't even think I've seen personally. It has some very gorgeous details. Like look at this middle here. It's like a pink almost gem. It's almost see-through in person. I don't feel like it's picking up properly on the camera. And then it has all this really pretty woodwork all the way through the tip of the wand. And for a hint to guess whose wand this is, if you don't know, that person loves pink. And she might even be, oh, I already said she, so that kind of narrows it down as well. And she might be hated more than he who shall not be named. So if you have any guesses, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. But this one is so cute. Let me look up the price while you leave some of your guesses. This one retailed for $6 with $3 shipping. So a grand total of $9. I think that this is very good quality for $9 in what you get. I think it's so cute and adorable. I'm glad I have it now for my collection. Is it compared to Luna Lovegood's wand? the replica version that the Wizarding World sells. So this one is definitely shorter than Luna's wand, but it's still a pretty decent length. But I'm very happy with these. I think that they're pretty nice, very good quality for the price itself. And they give you the option to purchase it with or without the box. I don't know what the boxes are supposed to look like. If they're supposed to look more like the replica versions that they sell, so like this is Luna Lovegood's box. It has that really pretty foiling for her sticker and where her name is. So they look like the boxes that they have in Ollivander's. So not sure if that's what the boxes are supposed to look like. If you've purchased a one from Wish and you got it with the box, let us know in the comments if it came in a really nice box and it was worth it to spend a couple extra dollars for that 
or if you should just skip it and not get the box anyways because it's not that great quality and might as well save some money. But these are the two wands. So now that we are at the end of the video, it does look like we are missing one item. That one item that says it was supposed to arrive at the end of April and now we're in the beginning of May and it still is undelivered. I'm not sure if I'm going to receive that item or not, but that last item was another wand and it was Cedric Diggory's wand. It's a little disappointing that I haven't received that item yet, even though I've ordered them over a month ago. So that is a risk that you have when you purchase off of Wish. So definitely be aware of that. So now, do I think that it was worth it or was it not worth it to make these purchases from Wish? So for some of the items, I would say yes, it's definitely worth the price. For some of the other items, I would say no, it was kind of a waste of money and there's better items out there just for a couple more dollars that you can get a, a better quality item from. So definitely do your research if you're looking for an item. Make sure you're looking at the reviews. Some of the reviews are very honest and they will say exactly what their item looked like when they received it. Make sure you're reading the description of the items. So I would just recommend doing a little bit more research before making a purchase from Wish because there are those risk factors, but sometimes you might find a really good gem of an item on Wish and for a really good affordable cost. For my favorite items, it would definitely be this pin of Picket. I thought it was so cute and a great price. And these Harry Potter replica glasses. I think they're so cute. I'll definitely use these in the future. And I was pretty impressed with Professor Umbridge's, I don't know if I said that. This is Professor Umbridge's wand. <laughs> Oh, sorry if I was keeping you guessing, but I thought that this one was pretty cute and I probably wouldn't purchase it for the full price because they are pretty expensive. I do want to collect some more wands, but I don't know if I would have ever went out of my way to purchase her wand. So it was nice to be able to get it from Wish for an affordable cost. So that's why this item would be one of my favorites. So if I had to pick a least favorite item, I would choose this patch because I just don't really love the image that is on here. I don't think it's the best quality because if you just spend two more dollars, you can get the exact replica version from the Wizarding World or other places online. So the price wasn't too far off of one that is a better quality. And the second least favorite item would be my Ravenclaw Lost Diadem necklace, just because I thought it was going to be like the crown, not an actual necklace. So for that reason, it is one of my least favorite items that I got from this Wish haul. But did you guys have a favorite item? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so you're notified during my next video upload. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.